Hey guys, Mike here with Century Security Systems Incorporated. Next video in the IVMS platform how-to series is the main view. Main view is a important one. That's where you're going to be able to actually view your cameras. This is the live view of the cameras. Okay, so we've got different screen divisions here on the left. One screen, four screen, nine, and so on. Okay, before we get too far into this though, I do want to show you a setting that I like to change on the IBMS platform. I'm going to go up to Tools, okay, and I'm going to go to System Configuration, and under Image, Play Performance, I'm going to change that from Self Adaptive to Shortest Delay. It's going to ensure that you're getting the closest to real time as possible. And the next setting here, Hardware Decoding Preferred, that really depends on your NVR. All of our all of our NVRs in the Maxia platform line will work with hardware decoding preferred on the IVMS platform. So I'm going to go ahead and turn that on and click save. If you're not sure, you may want to leave that off. Okay, so I'm going to close back out of there. So I've only got one camera, so I'm just going to maximize it here so I can go full screen, get a nice view of that of that camera. I'm going to hit the escape key to get back out of there and on the left hand side you can see where I have this bar I'm just going to move that back across again. So the four screen and so on you just click on them assuming you have more cameras it's going to show you them all by default as you can see there you can add the same camera multiple times. Okay we also have the ability to do custom views Okay, so I'm just going to name this one Custom Test, and I'm going to add that view in. Okay, so we're going to pick our screen division down here at the bottom, the lower right-hand corner. If I click that, um, we've got some additional options here. So standard is going to be your old school 4x3 monitors, wide division is your newer widescreen flat panel monitors. We also have the ability to do a custom window division. So that's what I'm going to go with here. So this is pretty neat. Um, I'm going to call this one test. Click OK. And right here I can select the division that we're going to start with. So I'm going to go with 6x6, six six, which is the most cameras that you can view at a time. Now, what I'm going to do is, I'm going to assume I have one camera that's really important, sort of the, maybe the entrance to a school, entrance to the front door of the building, that sort of thing. So, I'm going to actually draw a square out of all of these cameras to highlight those, and then I'm going to go ahead and say joint. And what it's going to do is convert that into one camera view, so I can have my main camera here, and then I can see all of my other ones around the outside. I personally like this view, so I'm going to go ahead and click save, but you can configure that however you want. You can join these ones together if you want, for example, as well. Keep in mind if you do that, you're going to get a little bit of a funky aspect ratio. So I'm going to go ahead and click save, close out of there, and now if I go back into here, I can select that view. So there's my test view, okay, and I can drag my camera into there. Now, the the other nice thing that you can do here, um, when you have the all camera view, when you have multiple cameras in there, you can drag that whole folder over. That's the other reason why I like to use the groups of cameras. Okay, so I can don't have to do them all individually. You know, just do them all at once. That sort of thing. Okay. So once I've got that done, I'm just going to show you as an example. I can go ahead and. You know, you can add the same camera multiple times if you want to, um, but you get the same effect sort of if you had the, the other cameras. I can then double click the cameras to go full screen if there's something going on there that I want to see. Down here at the bottom, I've got the options to take a snapshot, um, a start manual recording, and I can also view instant playback. That covers the main view of the IVMS platform. If you guys have any questions, shoot me an email at tech at cctvcentury.com. That's T-E-C-H at cctvcentry, S-E-N-T-R-Y.com. Don't forget to hit that subscribe button 
to make sure you don't miss any of our future videos for the IPMS platform. Thank you.